Hi everyone, so today I have a few swaps that um, just arrived late. Not that the people sent them late, they just arrived late. The post office did some weird things with their tracking and stuff like that. So of course I still want to share them with you. Um, and then I thought, well since we're talking swaps, I might as well just do a frequently asked questions for the Sweetheart's uh, Valentine loaded envelope because I'm already getting a lot of questions that I think people know the answer to, but they're just scared now because um, you know, they saw how the last few swaps went and I was kind of like, okay, when people broke rules or guidelines, like I don't understand why, I think I'm pretty clear and I think I just have to stand by that. This swap right here will be the first one where I'm not gonna swap them. So if they come in, I'm not gonna show them and I'm not gonna swap them. Before I was showing them and swapping them with rule breakers, then I stopped showing them, but I was still swapping them out and now I'm just not doing any of those things. Um, funny enough, <laughs> I have a lot of new subscribers. Uh, they all pretty much came from that rosette video for the heart rosette and people who, you know, told me I'm a scold and I'm so rude the way I'm, you know, talking about um, the swap basically as I'm going through them. And not talking about people's swaps, but like mentioning, you know, the rule breakers and kind of what I was seeing. And um, so thank you for your, you know, constructive criticism. I don't see it that way. And one of them I did respond and I was like, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, so after handling literally, even right now, daily, monthly, <laughs> hundreds if not thousands, right, in the lifetime that I've been doing this, because I was doing swaps on my old channel up to 100 people at a time. It was like glitter mix swaps, so it, to me it was easy for them to send them in, you know, look at them, check them out, swap them out, send them back. So it was all in one envelope, um, a flat, you know, just like a business size envelope. It was a really fun swap, and I would even open it up to Canadian folk. Um, and that was just a whole lifetime ago, but I've been doing swaps for a long time. I was doing them on creating case sakes like chat board and things like that. So it's kind of funny to me when people show up, I guess they see that it seems kind of new my channel, even though it's been here for a few years. And before that I had ones that, that I started in 2009. Um, and that the channel had over 80,000 subscribers. It was just a whole other thing. And I know a lot of, well, going off on a different tangent here, some people here keep asking me to do things with Timu or something like that, and they've been contacting me. I'm not going to do that, guys. I'm sorry. Um, only because my last channel, the, the whole AliExpress when they started really hitting the craft scene and it was a whole thing and I would show you know, different items I picked up was a mess. So forget it. And I'm talking about people wanting to sue me and things like that, right? So it was a whole thing back in the day, if you guys recall. I'm not going to dwell on that, um, but anyway, that was just a long time ago. I'm not going to start doing that here with this channel because I'm just not having the time for it. But if you guys want to shop there, and, and and the reason I mention that is because I see more and more videos about this company, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, but I'm not going to do it because, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to deal with these companies. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm not going to be showing any of that kind of stuff or purchasing anything there myself. Um, I mean, the most I'll do is, like, if you're looking for inexpensive dyes, I'll buy them, like, on Amazon, and only if I know it's a design that that company created. Um, I hope that makes sense. So, anyway, uh, I'm talking about, like, just, like, inexpensive, uh, super cheap dice. But anyway, back to what we were talking about. Um, so I've been around for a long time, and I think, I know my hands look very young. No, I'm just kidding, my face. <laughs> But I'm almost 45 and I've been paper crafting for almost 30 years and so like, you know, people leave me comments like whenever I showed this thing and I'm like, yeah, it's just getting stuck and then people are like, oh, run it through foil and these, yeah, I know those tricks. I know those tricks from like 20 years ago. Um, they work for the time being and it doesn't work always. Like to me, it's not a, it's a temporary fix. Um, at least that's been my experience, so I don't deal with, I don't bother with it. But yeah, you can definitely put a piece of foil in between these kinds of things or your punches and then punch it and it helps kind of like sharpen them supposedly. It works for a little bit. It's not worth, for me, I just, it's not worth it. Uh, but little things like that are like the other day on that Rosette video, somebody left me a comment, they're like, this is nothing new and something else. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't say I was reinventing the wheel. <laughs> like, yeah, it's nothing new. Of course we've been doing this for years. I just, me personally, I have never made one from scratch. That's all. But yes, it's nothing new. Nothing you're going to see anymore is new, guys. <laughs> Let's just start there, okay? Envelope albums, you know, mini albums made from paper bags, all these things we've done 15, 20 years ago. It was done before I was even doing them, you know? So, yeah, it's fine. Um, but thank you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, and it was so funny because earlier in the day I was talking to my husband. I said, you know, I think what happens is I mentioned the things that I'm seeing that were breaking guidelines, but it's really so that the people who broke those guidelines could hear it without because obviously I didn't show it. I try to contact people, but again, that's more of my time. 
making notes about what happened in their particular swap, what I saw and why I didn't swap it and all these things. And it's just, it's a waste of time, you guys. So I'm not even going to be doing that anymore. But what I was telling my husband is like, maybe what I'll just do in the future, if I do any more swaps, because honestly, right now I feel like, ugh. <laughs> just because of the comments I'm getting of people saying like that I'm so rude. And it's like, okay, well, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, that I just won't mention the rule breakers. I'll just show the ones that are, you know, within the guidelines, within the parameters, I'll show them, move on to the next one, move on to the next one. I won't even mention that I'm frustrated or feel bad or upset or feel bad personally that I'm not showing these other gorgeous ones because they broke guidelines. I guess that's what I'm going to do because that way everyone can be happy. But then I feel bad because the people who broke rules might want to know what it was that they did. But at the same time, you can go over the guidelines. And a lot of times people already know. They'll tell me, oh, I already know what I did. <laughs> so um, that's fine, you know? Uh, and you know, most people that I contact, they're super sweet. A lot of times they contact me first knowing that they had already, you know, done whatever it was that they did. Sorry, guys. I'm just, you know, sorry. I thought I heard my son, but I'm just taking a moment to pour my heart out here because this is what I think of. Um, and again, I've been doing this for a very long time. I know if I wait for certain packages, if they're late, it might never show up. So I'm holding the whole thing up. And it's not because I don't want to wait for years. And I hope people don't take that personally. It's just, I don't trust the post office to later be like, oh, now we're in shape. Here it is. Because I've done this so long that I know sometimes it just never shows up or whatever. Or a week later, like I'm not going to hold everyone up for the one, you know, or those kind of things. So that's nothing personal. That's just how it is. And then, you know, it's so funny when people are like, you know, that I'm rude or whatever. It's like, okay, do you understand what it takes to run a swap in like in a timely manner and all these things that I'm doing my job. I make the videos. I repeat over and over. I'm super like clear with what we're doing. They're so long, right? I And then other people are like, oh, make a checklist. I'm like, you think I haven't made a checklist? <laughs> it started off as a checklist. Like when people si ask to sign up, I respond with written guidelines up on top of the videos that I'm making. So I'm already spending hours and hours and hours of video, editing, uploading, linking, all those things take time. Okay, and then I type it up, but I guess I wasn't typing up enough because it was kind of like a bullet point thing. So, okay, I started adding more words in there and big red letters, like no extras. It just depends. Each swap is different. Like this swap, whatever you can fit inside. I just told one of my friends here, I'm like, if it fits, it ships inside. You see, this is very flat on the outside. We don't need things bulking up everything and smashing things. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Um... But I just think it's funny because like after they, you know, I go to the post office every day. Now I go every couple days because I'm like, oh, I don't really have to go every, every day. I bring them to my house. I open them up. I get them ready. Like, okay, just, just making sure it's not completely exploded because sometimes things are like completely messed up and then I'll, you know, because of tra uh, shipping or whatever. I keep them in big old tubs in my garage. If I know that they have food in them, like some of the swaps, like these guys might have a treat, I keep them in my craft room in big, huge tubs and they take up space, like all these things. I do all the videos, the reveals, they take tons of editing. Um, they really do take a lot of editing in the reveal videos. Get those uploaded, get them premiered, you know, set up for a premiere. Try to get the next one going right in a timely manner after the first one that I release. Um, and then I'm swapping out. And I have a whole notebook of everyone's names, when their swap came in, when I sent their swap out, and then a notes section. It's one of my traveler's notebooks. I guess I could show you guys, but I think there's notes in there that maybe I don't want to share. So, you know, again, rule breaking, things like that. Um, and then, you know, where everyone's from. So whenever I go... Finally, I pull the names, I get each thing I need for each, you know, group of swappers, I get the packaging, I label them, I get everything going, packed up real nice, hopefully in a way that doesn't get damaged, I try to take care with that too, so um, for you guys to receive your swap back really nicely, uh, take them to the post office, and some people are like, oh, you should just like pirate ship or ship pirate, whatever it is, I'm like, yeah, but then I have to print it, and that's a whole other thing, so I just go to the post office, I use the automatic machine, that takes hours at times, sometimes it's fast you know I'm just there doing whatever get them put them in the thing okay get my receipt when I get home I sit down and at the receipt it has everyone's like uh, city and state I go through my list okay this is this person this is this person this is this person and then I email each one of those people with their tracking information that's again another couple hours you guys you think, even I'm cutting and pasting it takes a while so like I guess if I sound frustrated, it's not because also I'm just like, ah, I want to show the swaps. But at the same time, I'm only one person and I think I do my swap job pretty darn well. Um, I think I've messed up twice ever where I sent uh, the person their own swap, like one of their own swaps, like in a folder swap back, like the ephemera folder. And so of the 15 years or so I've been doing swaps or more, more than that, I've only messed up twice. And that was recently. I'm like, I must be not as sharp as I used to be. And it was the same person. So I'm so sorry, Alice. <laughs> I'm like, how did I do that a uh, while back and then more recently again? So I'm so sorry. But, um, you know, I try to do my best. So that's why for me, it's like, 
if people would take the care and just listen to what I'm saying, and a lot of times I know it's because people want to be more generous, but at the same time, sometimes it kind of becomes a little bit disrespectful because like I'm asking you for certain things because I know that when I open this, it's what I expect. I'm gonna talk through it. And it usually takes like four or five minutes, right, per swap. But when yours takes 10, because you're including all these other things that I didn't ask for, or that, you know, um, not in this swap, but just other ones, or like, it's so thick it crushes the other person's swap when I put them in the packaging. Like, those things are not kind, in, in my opinion, at that point. Because it's like, come on, <laughs> you know, and I talk about this all the time. Again, each swap is different. Like this swap, like I said, low profile on the outside, but whatever you fit inside, because it's a loaded envelope, is great, as long as you're doing the minimum requirements of what I'm asking, and then other little bits that you can put in here and there. Wonderful, but obviously not too wild. This is this has a lot going on. I mean, there's a lot in here, right? And it is not thicker like than you know what the what, an inch and a quarter, other than you know the flap here. So I just I feel like we need to be sensible and think about it. I know other people run swaps differently because they require you to have YouTube and they you know require you to have Instagram or something else where you're showing your work and they basically like your style is what it is um, and that you're dependable, right? So which is great uh, for me. I open up to everybody. You can sign up. I don't care what your budget is. Obviously, um, there's sometimes when I, I literally say please don't include a bunch of Dollar Tree stuff because um, we're not just exchanging Dollar Tree stuff, right? We would like them to be a little more again swaps it's because you have those items to to swap to or you're willing to purchase those items right um, I would never want this to be a drag on someone like uh, a burden right so if you're signing up it's because you can do it and um, style does not matter that's the other thing I don't want people to feel like oh she didn't show it because she doesn't like the, what it looks like no that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about minimum requirements and not blowing the thing out if it requires it to be you know a certain thickness or whatever those kinds of things again each swap is different so um, some of them like this one I said if it fits inside if it fits it ships but it doesn't you know this thing can't be like bloated <laughs> because it's you know within reason guys right um, all of everything within reason and again it just depends on the swap and what it is and um, yeah, so either, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, I have to change some things up, and I feel like this happens once a year, where it just is like, what is going on, and I take a little break, because it's just a little much, um, and I know when I start with this swap, not swapping them, and just sending them back to the person the way they sent them, it's going to start causing probably some problems, because people aren't going to like that, right, I mean, it's one thing to say, okay, and then they're like, okay, but I still swap it, the reason I'm just not going to swap it either is because I don't think the rules are difficult, the guidelines. People understand. They already know uh, most time when I contact them what they did. So, like, just don't do that. I think I uh, get this comment a lot. People say, I want to think outside the box. Please don't think outside the box. Honestly, a clean, neat swap is what we want. I don't need this to create another flap out here or another something. Obviously, on this one, I tell you guys need to keep the basic construction. But, like, you don't need to do any of those things. Just a neat, clean swap that I can get through, I can present it, I can pack it out easy. That's what I'm looking for here. Again, other people do some other ones where it's more wild and you can just do whatever you want, and that's fine. But again, they're curating the people that they will even let in, right? So, and then they charge more for like the packaging because if you're doing a medium rate box, well then who cares, right? This could be a lot bigger. It could have another treat with it or whatever. But for me, I'm trying to keep the postage pricing low for you guys to be able to join. It's not the biggest, uh, you know, budget buster as far as postage, right? So I try to form them for that. So these two fit really nicely in a padded flat rate mailer, you know? That price is going to drop 20 cents, and that's why I updated saying it dropped 20 cents. You know, I have the different pricing. It used to be 1060 or 1040 an hour, or whatever it is. Or it's going to be in February, right, when this actually goes out. So I'm always trying to stay up on those things and just try to make the smoothest swap that we can. So, again, I always say, you know, put use your best quality products. It doesn't mean a lot of things. We don't need a lot of things. You need to meet the minimum requirements and use your best products. That's what I would prefer instead of adding just more stuff, you know stuff not everybody needs all kinds of stuff we don't just a few little things that are gonna be really nice i think that's how i see it and that's kind of where i have my my minimums and maximums on some swaps okay i'm gonna have to put like time stamps down here so people can understand where i'm coming from if you've been watching my channel for a long time you already know where i'm coming from but uh, i'm telling you that clipboard swap when i swapped out the ones that were all not rule breaking it was a snap like just do 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 it all just went so fast and easy. Um, oh, I was going to show you guys a picture because it even looks so nice when I swap it out because that's that's what I want. Like a quick 
pristine swap. Um, this is an image from the other day. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing like a reindeer slipper, but um, it just looks so crisp and clean. And look at the packaging. And that each one of those has two clipboards in it. And some clipboards were really bulging, so <laughs> that didn't look the same with the rule breaker ones. But like, and then I take it to the post office, and here you go. I have them. I scan it. And then now you have to put the person's name and address in. Before you used to just put the label. So now I have to take the time to do that. And then I just boop, boop, boop. Label comes out, stick it on. Label comes out, stick it on. Label comes out, stick it on. Oh, After I've typed minute, everything. Seven minutes in before I got tongue tied. And then I just take them and pop them in the um, receptacle and they go out. And that's it, you know? So it's just, it's a whole thing, guys. It's a whole process. And I'm sure this will happen again later when people who don't really know me will show up and, you know, say whatever they say. So. Let's all do our best work. I try to do my best work. You guys do your best work. And everyone's work is always great. Just listen to the guidelines. I think I repeat them enough. I write it out enough. I actually have that prepared too, because for the people who keep it, I've had this, make a checklist, make a checklist. Okay, if I simply had a checklist like I used to do, people would definitely, um, why is this taking so, what is this thing doing? Printing, I don't want to print, I just want to look at it. Um, okay. I do not know what this is doing. I don't care about that. It's going to print it on my Perry page, the little printer. That's not what I want. I just want to see it. I, I feel your pain. Sometimes people are like, hey, I can't open the, <laughs> the attachment because, you know, sometimes people don't know how to use their iPad or whatever else they're looking at for that. But um, big red light and letters. Please do not, you know, join if you live in a home uh, where people smoke inside. Okay, that's a different thing. Uh, the other info, again, being returned without being too bulky or breaks the minimum and those kinds of things. It just depends on the um, the swap, right? Some of them like this one, meet the minimums, you can also add extra stuff inside. Um, the swap will consist of two stuffed envelopes and the Valentine theme. As I mentioned in the video, it should, you know, be the same envelope instructions I showed. And I mean, uh, there's just a lot of info. When I used to do bullet points, people would just really kind of mow over through them and be like, oh yeah, 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 that's what I'm doing. And then didn't pay attention to like, hey, don't make them so huge or whatever it is, right? So we do that, guys. I got, I got it covered, I'm telling you. It's not the information is lacking or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. Um, but anyway. And then uh, someone says, um, you should be grateful that people participate or this and this. And I'm like, I think I say that in every one of the videos when I do the reveals. I'm always super grateful. Like, obviously, there wouldn't be a swap if people weren't signing up, right? So I really appreciate it. Um, and then again, it's not, you know, it's just sticking to the guidelines, you guys. Um, I super appreciate it. I don't have to do the swaps. If it was up to my husband, he wouldn't want, he would tell me just don't do them because it stresses me out. <laughs> I've already told you guys that before. But anyway. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is just know that I made it very clear and if someone breaks the guideline that's on them basically and it's going to go back without being swapped and that's it so I think if I start up another one after this it'll probably be like an ephemera type swap because those usually run pretty well um, I love the flowbook insert one that was a lot of fun but a lot of people also missed <laughs> so, like missed some of the guidelines there so I'm like what is I don't know I don't know again I don't know um, but we'll see we'll see where we'll pick up uh, it won't be I, I really, in my mind, I was like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this, like, get them going, but honestly, I, I don't know. I just, I'm not in the mood, I guess. It's just kind of like, eh, I don't know. Okay, so however far in I am now, really quick, loaded pocket, or loaded envelope, this one particularly, I had questions about, can I decorate the inside? I'm like, yes, of course you can decorate the inside, you guys. So I think people are just getting really scared, and uh, please don't overthink that. Like, they, all the swaps have different requirements. This one was... Uh, the basic construction, so you're going to make it just like I showed you as far as the envelope shape and the two pockets that are, you know, three quarters and half an inch. Everything's going to be the same, right? That's why I do that whole tutorial. Okay, and this one, it has to be the envelope one, right? We already talked about that. You need to have six, what I called heart stickers, so they have to be a heart shape, less than one and a half inch, right? So they're stickers, like little cuties. The second layer, they have to have at least two extra embellishments, not just the background, two extra embellishments, but the second layer needs to be popped up, so that's why I showed you guys I popped up on 3D foam. Nice, so we popped up, and then whatever else you want to put on there, like Jolie's boutique like type stickers. Okay, that's what we're making. And then I did put sticky stuff on the back to make them stick for later, um, like uh, little dots. But anyway, three handmade embellishments. It could be rosettes, it could be bows, it could be handmade flowers that are like really artistic looking flowers, right? I don't want just like three layered flat flowers. It needs to be like handmade, like artistically. Um, or three tassels, or a mixture of those, but no more than three. So I did two rosettes and a bow. 
right? And then they have to be decorated more than just the basic part. So a rosette, the basic part is just like that middle piece. Um, on a bow, the basic part would just be, you know, putting together the thing. I know there are layering bows. That's better because it's not just the one layer. So if you have another one that goes around here that's decorative and then you have this lacy background, that's good too. This one, I just popped a little rhinestone. Obviously, it's a fun material, so that already kind of ups the, the game there. But it has to have something else in the center or, again, double bow, you know, if it's a layering kind of bow or whatever. And then this one, I decorate a little more, a little more. That's all it is, right? Tassels are pretty basic. They need to be made from paper. Um, I've had other questions about that. I just don't want someone to turn in like yarn that's wrapped up and that might be a little kind of ratty looking after it's been shipped and all that. And it needs to be something that takes a little time, guys. So that's what we're looking for, okay? I put them in this thing. Um, and no more than the three on that one. These guys, I said six, six, you know, six stickers. Three of these guys, only three. Um, five die cuts, and some of my die cuts are like 3D type. Some are uh, layered. Some are just one layer. I don't care about that. <laughs> Whatever five die cuts you want to put in here, right? Like this one has more pieces because it's like um, a little top, a bag topper that makes it with a bow. Um, this is just like a little strip of lace. Five die cuts. Again, with that, you can do more because that's just it. I just don't want to have to explain a ton of these guys, you know, whenever that comes around. Um, it's just, again, for me to go through the swap in an easy way. So a lot of the time with the die cuts, obviously you see what I'm seeing and we can, I don't have to discuss each and every one. But five is the minimum of those. I put toppers on mine just to look cute. You don't have to do that. Um, a card with at least three embellishments on it. And of course I did stenciling. I did a couple different doilies, you know, the little paper ruffle and some little, you know, sweetheart like um, bits. And then your shaker mix. Ooh, see? Good thing I pulled this out because I haven't decorated it. So I was going to decorate this. Uh, I decorated the other one, just haven't done this one. Um, with at least three types of spangles, three different types of spangles. So it can't just be three, you know, orange, yellow, and pink hearts. Like, no, it needs to have more shapes. So there's like sequins in here, there's like little dots in here, there's hearts. Um, lots of different colors of different things, but at least three different types of shapes. Um, and then I decorate this. But you can put this in a little package. However it is that you want to package it up. Again, whatever fits in here and meeting the minimum requirements you're good um, and then these are some of my gifts I did a little pedicure bombs and a little eye mask thing and they are heart shaped because it's Valentine again everything in the Valentine theme I know sometimes people sign up for things they don't actually have stuff that goes with it but they try to make it work it needs to be screaming Valentine okay guys just like that last time it need to be screaming birthday because that's the whole point so again if you're signing for swaps you are willing to make the purchases to make it work right not just like well let me see what I have here and trying to Think outside the box again to make it work. You need to put something in it, you know? Um, and I've always said that. And um, so there's that. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I decorated these guys with, um, you know, paper. And everyone's going to be doing that. The matte layering is a given. You need to include one more extra embellishment. And I'm talking about an embellishment that the person can then take and use it if they want. Um, you know, some people will put a shaker in here or something like that, and that's fine. Um, not too thick, because again, this has to close. And I, I will count a shaker as an embellishment. I've said that before, but nobody really takes me up on that. That's kind of rough. I'd rather you, if you're going to make a shaker, put it on a pan or something, or put it on something else. I don't know. But one other handmade embellishment, right? And whatever that is. And I said that can be super simple. That can be just a little piece of fluff, you know, tool on a clippy that just looks cute tucked in here or there so for me I did a few different things but um, well this time I just have these guys that guy and then like that little tiny clip that was in the front um, people ask me you can decorate this whole inside yeah whatever you put it put inside as long as it closes nicely and isn't bulging you're good to go guys um, on the outside again you saw what I did and this is very flat and there's a lot going on here there's stitching there's double layers of these hearts there's a shaker front you know with like different fun things in there on the back I covered it and I put this little guy so there's lots you can do that doesn't have to break guidelines you know there's a ton you can do I don't want to see a huge rosette out here we're not putting dangles out here remember like I said nothing extra on the outside that's like bulky um and then i did have another question from a friend here that if she can put this in like those burlap bags with the hearts you know from the dollar tree and i was like yeah if it fits and doesn't get squished i suppose so but then i took it back i emailed her again i said you know what how about if you don't <laughs> i was like because what's gonna happen is people are gonna see that and they're gonna be like oh i'll just make my own bag next time and they'll make it from like felt or they make it from something else and now it's a thick bag that's going on top of this and they're gonna decorate the bag and like all these things and now i gotta talk about bags so initially i had just said just put in a sleeve or like very loose you know um what's the stuff called um tissue right like um 
gift tissue, whatever. Uh, something very light and thin like that. So no, no big bags, guys. Please, let's not. Because even at the initially, I said you can put it in like one of those treat bags that you get from like the Dollar Tree. But if it's tight at the top and like sticking out, it will smash when you're putting it in. It will probably, you know, smash in here. So don't do that. If you're going to do that, just fold it over flat. You know, same kind of thing like this, but fold it over so it's flat instead of like some kind of bag that's like gathered and stuff like that it just doesn't work out so well I think in our very first swap we did that and it was really hard for me to swap people out and I didn't want things getting smashed because of the extra decoration that really is neither here nor there right everything we want is here and inside okay and again this swap is different from others and if you have room to put like I put two treats you know the rule is one treat but I had room for it and if you don't have room for it then change your plan say you know what this didn't fit I'm not gonna use that or whatever I think people will try to stick to their plan and it's just ends up being not great guys so clean generous in the products you're using and that's what I'm asking for so I'm gonna package this back up uh, I think we talked about everything. <laughs> Again, I said I'm just going to repeat things ad nauseum and hopefully, you know, I don't know. But um, I'll be right back. Thank you for sitting and listening to all that. If you are a swapper, please have listened to it because honestly, I think it kind of helps you guys see where I'm coming from and maybe think a little bit more about what it is that I'm asking and why I'm asking for it a certain way. I mean, I'm sure people can just be like, oh, whatever. But if I had no rules, promise you, I promise you some will come in with like very little things <laughs> and they'll still get swapped with somebody who made like all these, you know, put everything into it. Or there'll be people who just don't know when to stop and it's too much stuff and it's just like, what is going on here? So, uh, obviously, more isn't always better and very little is not great, right? So, you just want a nice, solid swap, guys. That's all I'm asking for. And to be honest, the, this thing, I didn't ever said it had to be handmade. Like, this little pick from the Dollar Tree looks very cute. Maybe put some tool on it or something. I just popped it in here because I thought it was cute. But, like, that could be your you know, one embellishment item that needs to go in here. And it needs to be attached or like in here, you know what I'm saying? I think uh, a couple times some of my friends kind of wrap them as like another gift. When I'm talking about that, it needs to be like visible. Like if you're doing a dangle, it can be, you know, clipped here or whatever, but um, on the inside. It cannot be hanging off the side. It can't be huge and bulging. It has to fit in here too. So whatever you do for all these things need to be fitting inside, okay guys? So there's that. I will remember to um, decorate that. Um, that's just my preference. I'm not saying you have to decorate the things. All those bag topper things, uh, those are just extra. It, looks, it just looks cuter. It's not required. Um, I reread the requirements plenty of times in the video. And um, decorate it, guys. Yes, I mean, even if you want to put some pom-pom trim here, of course, the pom-poms shouldn't be like those huge ones that are like this. Like, you know, something minimal, you guys. I think we all know what minimal is. I think we all know also know when we're pushing it. So decorate your cases. No worries. Just not bulging huge outside. And then it can't be so bulging that, you know, from the stuff that you put inside, right? This actually is a different shape. Like, it was not easy <laughs> figuring this one out. Even when it's tall like this, I guess the items can be taller and it's just easier. I don't know what it was. This was a different uh, nut to crack. But thank you guys for joining. If I have something to say, it's because I'm just a, a caring mama over here, and you can call me a scold like other people did, and that's fine. I'll accept it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me grab the swaps that are late com coming, and uh, we'll see some of those prettiness. It's clipboard swaps, and there's a couple of uh, My Happy Valentine case swaps, so hopefully they're all guideline-friendly, and I can show them all to you. So I'll be right back. I say it's so funny when it's like a swap-out night because my kids are like, yep, because I bring out all this stuff. I'm telling you, all these tubs, and I'm digging through and finding the people's names for the groups and it's all over my you know dining room table and I'm ordering pizza that night because there's no other I'm not gonna I gotta order pizza so it's kind of funny when you guys are like oh get yourself a coffee it's like oh I basically get ourselves a pizza <laughs> is what we do to get that going sorry um, um so first up Delphina King out of Payala, Washington and so let me open this guy up and just see what she has on thank you so much Delphina um, oh, you know what? I actually put this on top so you guys can start checking that out while I'm looking at her card here. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Girl. <laughs> she included um, <laughs> some extra uh, money there. She says, coffee time. <laughs> For sure. Thank you so much. Just gorgeous. Oh, you know what? Let me see if it says what she used pauses but yeah I don't see that um, an email but that doesn't mean she didn't email because I have tons of emails so just beautiful I mean it looks this is something I have I, I, feel, I believe it's a recollections package this I have this I know I have this paper with the butterflies but it's not the die because with a view mariposa stack it's a different one but um 
Oh, that'd be funny if that's the same pack I used, because I'm like, this looks very familiar. <laughs> There's just these beautiful um, fibers here. You guys, I think this is what it's going to stay. If I do another clipboard swap and I have my requirements, this is one thing that's going to be uh, guideline mandatory, because I think it looks so pretty. It just tops everything off. The person can then take it and use them, and I'm just like, ah, oh, I love it so much. So she has all these beautiful fibers in there with the pretty um, seam binding. And then we open it up a little bit here. We have our shaker mix, and it is gorgeous. I love those little hearts. Again, I picked some up from Amazon, and I also got them from Michaels, and they're basically the same. So that's possibly where she got hers. I'm not sure. Um, little white, like, microbeads. Some are bigger and some are smaller. Little flowers, some gold microbeads. Little tiny flowers, like a little hole in the center. Some larger ones. And then just a really pretty, delicate, like... Just juicy mix. I love it. And then these are her um, 3D items. Really cute with the little bag topper. One of my friends here sent me um, a We Are Memory Keepers chomper that does this, you guys. Oh my gosh. So we will check it out. So thank you so much, Karen. Uh, I, yeah, I'll have to try that out very soon. Um, but look at her little teacup. So it's a beautiful, dainty teacup. Again, cut from the beautiful papers uh, with the little flowers in the back. You can see that she did, I think, several layers of paper for her. Um, risers here and then or the elevation there acetate is in there great look how beautiful this one is i love that die really gorgeous framing out that beautiful uh, imagery in the back and then that beautiful scalloped oval in the back that is super cute with the little dot dot dots i feel like i have this uh, die really really pretty again all acetate and then the paper that you need to rise them up and then here are her um bows and rosettes so it looks like she has two bows and a rosette set i believe i'm sorry i'm just trying to look at it closely yeah yeah okay oh that's interesting okay so you can see this lime green one's like a double bow and it has its pieces to finish it off and then that beautiful little um blue ruffly one with the little hearts i love the little dots that is so cute yeah yeah i think this is the paper pack that i used the in the garden isn't it because this paper looks very familiar to me that is too funny um and then uh her rosette that has two sides and this is a really cool die because on one side it's like scalloped and the other side it's like pointy so which one do you want to use use that side what i would do honestly is i would cut this in half and i would have a smaller <laughs> one with this side and a smaller one with that side but that's just me all right and these are her papers super gorgeous lovely five by sevens really really pretty if I didn't use this one this time, I used it recently. This reminds me of, I'm telling you. Um, definitely recollection, so paper. Um, or from Michael, should I say. Uh, she has that beautiful butterfly pattern in the background. And then her pocket here um, has the little stones. And then the, some beautiful little mulberry flowers with centers. And then this beautiful um, uh, frame. And you know what? That's from uh, Local King right oh my gosh i need to do more of local king fun stuff i haven't done that one in a long time just gorgeous design so that's like that beautiful little frame there and then little um trim to finish it all off really pretty thank you so much delphina thanks for joining us again oh my goodness just lovely i'm gonna package this back up and i'll be right back i have a swap here from latanya polnitz and i hope i'm pronouncing that right it's p-o-e-l-i-n-i-t-z out of Gary, Indiana. Let me sit back down. Sorry about that noise. To me, from Happy Scrappy 45. Paper pad. Wednesday Terrace Blooms by the Paper Studio, I think. Oh, oh, paper pad. <laughs> like Wednesday Terrace. I'm sorry, paper pad used. I thought it just said wed, like Wednesday. Terrace Blooms by the Paper Studio cute thank you so much you include a little something for me there and then there's her postage oh girl so she included three so i'm assuming one is for me and since everything's out here i'm assuming i can just pick one but i'll make sure of that when i go to swap out so let's put these things to the side uh, okay, I'll be right so back. here we go so this is her um clipboard here of course you see on the back oh it does have some info again with the paper pad and her cute little um stamp there and well let's just i'll put that back on here for now beautiful tassel again i'm telling you guys it is going to be a requirement next time i think pretty much everyone did one though so that's really great i said just put whatever decoration you know that's like something simple little dangle and you can do two things um and this was something everyone pretty much went for so cute with the rick rack and then she has a like, sweet again just a little something a couple little puffs they can squish down here and then a little tassel super cute 
cute. And what I've been noticing now is that a lot of these things just nestle kind of into this little space, which is really, really fun. Especially when I swap them out, I just kind of boop, pop them in and try to keep them up here so that they can stay nice and safe. So that works out. But again, not too much, right? So thank you so much. Um, okay, so this is her uh, mix here. So pretty. I love the little toppers that she used. Um, yeah, definitely. I have this paper. <laughs> 100% so pretty uh, she has like little beads in here there's like sequins that don't have a hole there's like sequins like your typical sequins little heart sequins uh, larger beads just really pretty and all like pinks and teals and like a pop of green really lovely and these are her shakers so let's check them out oh my goodness the little basket oh you know what I'm gonna open it up since this is for me have no problem doing that and then from her beautiful paper pack, she has this little basket. How cute is that? So again, you know, shakers require the top frame so they look pretty. It requires the acetate, um, at least a riser, a couple of papers she used here, and then uh, the background. So you're shaking this here in the center. So cute. And this one's a coffee cup. Oh my gosh, just lovely. From those papers there. And then this one is like a, um, a circle. Oh, <laughs> the coffee cup has a whip, so it kind of got back in there, but it's for over here, I suppose. Thank you so much. You know what this reminds me of? This is the first paper I used when I made my first traveler's notebook, like, on this channel. So, um, yeah, that's fun. Thank you so much. That's exactly what it was, and I finally filled it up, guys, with all the different swaps and things. All the inserts were filled up, and you can definitely take them out, but since it was my first one, it was kind of a little funky, so I went ahead and just left that alone, you know? So, yeah, so I just started another one. I actually created it here with you guys, so really pretty, and I just took a pause because I was like, Latanya girl, but <laughs> she put these out here so that they wouldn't get uh, smashed, or if you know, you could fold it and pop them in here, but she just has it there, so that's fine. So thank you so much. Um, a layered flower with the beautiful papers, and then, like, some accent colors, and in the back, you can see she has a little layered bow that is super cute um, and then these are the center pieces for your rosette so she has the rosette pieces here and just lovely and then over here she has her um, papers let me see I, again I will open them up um, super pretty oh my gosh so again your three five by sevens just some um, beautiful pieces here that are foiled Look at that. And then this one here. Oh, look at the little swans. Those are so lovely. I need to go pull that paper pad out for the swans. I haven't done a swan look in a while. <laughs> That's very cute. Thank you so much. And then this is her clipboard. Super gorgeous. That background paper, the big blooms. And then here she has like a little bit of lace, a layered up border, beautiful little bird. His little wing has like a little bit of glossy accents on it. Little tiny flowers. Again, when I was talking in the swap about like Jolie's flowers or Jolie's um, stickers, you know, these are obviously they have two layers but something like that where they repeat it's just the same over and over and over basically um hello and then again repeated down here and again super flat there's a lot going on in the decoration super flat i asked for a minimum of three things and you know there it is with her beautiful decorations thank you so much for including one for me latanya i'm going to package this back up and i'll be right back um, next up i have a swap from brenda Werlinger. and i believe brenda's first time with us so it looks like she has one, two, three. This one's kind of, the wrapping's coming off, so I'll just put this one out here. Oh, actually, you know what? I will not do that. She put my name on this one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, she's out of Livonia, Michigan. Why have I heard that name before? Is it Livonia, Livonia? Either way, I've heard of it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the colors. I mean, this is just gorgeous just because so simple and just beautiful, right? With the little like uh, color splashes there. Lovely little butterfly. Thank you so much. Uh, took it all out. Took care of it. Okay. I just want to see if it says, okay, my paper was With Love by Prima. Uh, she forgot to name her name and paper on a tag or something like that. So thank you so much. I'm going to open this up and I'll put it back. Just wow. How pretty is this? And she made some larger shakers here. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, Brenda, this is gorgeous. Again, you know, we have some little puff balls here. And look at the little appliques. This is beautiful. Loving the colors. Again, going with her Prima paper looks really, really lovely. Um, so let's open this up. So this is her um, 
shaker mix. So in here she has like little peace signs. I see they're like different colors. I see some regular sequins. I see that little opal cream that everyone loves from Tonic. <laughs> I love it. Um, it just it does so much. Some hexagons um, is what I can see right now. I think there's like, yeah, the peace signs are so fun because they're different colors and the way they reflect the light is different. And then like some regular glitter and maybe, maybe some ultra fine iridescent glitter is what I can see in there. Really pretty. Look how gorgeous that topper is. Lovely. Oh, and these are her shakers. Really pretty. Oh, the paper is just killer. So here she has like this cool star shape and then it's framed out with this little piece that says the best of friends, at least the one I have here. And then her frame in the background is like a nice, probably four by six because it looks a little bit longer and thinner than like a a2 and smaller than a five by seven with that beautiful green accent and in the background you can see that little kind of country looking paper and then on this side she has oh a little balloon <laughs> how cute is that so the balloon again with the acetate the risers i think she used foam for the um, elevation and it comes with a little bow to just finish it off here paper bow and again i will clarify that in the next video if i do another one of Paper, paper, paper. Okay, everything in there should be paper. Pretty much all this stuff. Um, so here we have uh, a rosette. Oh, look how cute with the little doily. So she has a rosette here again with the two pieces, or it's folded in half, should I say, because it's a long one, but it's just folded in half uh, with the pieces you need for that. We have a beautiful bow, nice and pristine with um, like a colorful tail. And then uh, the, you know, the center is for your um, rosette there. And then a bag topper that is just die cut and gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Really accenting those papers. Looks lovely. And then these are her 5x7. So let's open those guys up. Thank you so much, Brenda. And I'm sorry, guys, again, you know, the post office does what they do. And uh, But we have some great uh, group here to swap together. So that's wonderful. Um, I know sometimes it's like one person ends up just being, I'm like, ah, can I at least, <laughs> you know, it's great when there's at least two something people can swap, or, you know, instead of me just, re you know, returning one of theirs plus the one they got swapped out with or, or whatever it might be. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous papers. I love the little handmade hearts. Oh, we should do that for fun, huh? <gasps> Maybe we'll do a video on that. Just something cute like that. Um, best of friends. With the cut aparts on the back side of that one, if you want to use them. Really, really beautiful. And this is her um, clipboard here with that gorgeous paper in the background. Really, really lovely. I've got a little errant piece of something there. Uh, just beautiful. Really soft and feminine. Oh, she used a little lace on there. I love it. And then some beautiful Anna Griffin flour like flourishes. and say fleurs. Flourishes. With a cute little like pocket here. Uh, I think this is the Crafter's Companion one, right? Uh, with the little butterflies and hello. Just gorgeous, Brenda. Thank you so much. Like I said, I believe it's her first time with us, so awesome work. I'm going to um, pack this back up, and then, like I said, I have some My Happy Valentine ones that we can check out right now. It's like a family affair when we do swaps. I'm telling you, my husband breaks down the boxes and all that stuff and gets them in the recycling and all kinds of things. Okay, so um, this one is from <laughs> Delfina uh, out of uh, Washington. We saw Delfina's swap earlier for her clipboard, and she has three in here. I feel so bad because maybe she can swap, you know, one of these guys. Um, and so here we go. Let's open this guy up. And unfortunately, I wasn't going to mention rule breaking, but the other one that I opened before this, I was like, ah, it's it's not quite there. So um, I won't be showing it, but uh, let's see here. Everything is the same. Uh, okay, well, let's check it out. I will say what I've noticed is a lot of people were doing the one, just the die cut, like just run it through and add like 50 or 60 of them. And I had asked, please don't do that. <laughs> please don't do that. And... That's kind of what I saw. So uh, Delfina has this beautiful uh, gift here. And look, I mean, her card. That's what I was looking at when I was like kind of looking at this thing. Look at the quilting on that. Oh my gosh. Obviously, it's a 3D embossing folder, but she set a stone in each little opening. Oh my gosh. Even the ones that are peeking out from behind here. Gorgeous. Uh, okay, so let's open this up. Really sweet gift here she has. And um, this one's for me. So thank you so much, Delfina. Oh my goodness, cottage cuts, look at this. Oh, you're kidding, I love it. I love me a little uh, mug kind of die set, so we have that. Um, some sweet stickers with a little like uh, balloon bouquets, super cute, I love the jelly kind of look of those. And then some stickabilities uh, stickers. Really, really cute with the different ladies. Everything's very sweet and romantic on that one. And let's open this guy up. Uh, 
Let's see here. Where are we at? <laughs> okay, there we go. That was very uh, hard to find. All right. So beautiful card. Again, um, different layers because I can see that that's not even... She did several layers of paper there. And look at that quilted, I mean, pearlescent paper. is super gorgeous. Um, a doily that's like doubled up. She has a beautiful ribbon. Look, running through the back and then the XOXO right there. That's her card. Um, just gorgeous. Really fun. Um, here we have our little lace with some paper topper. A little paper bow here. Top with the rhinestone. She has her beautiful little flowers. And the hearts that are kind of like faux leather. I need to bring out that faux leather. I bought a bunch because I was going to use it and I still haven't even used it. <laughs> and then the little sequins there. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Open this guy up. And here she has all her gorgeousness. So pretty. So four handmade down here we have our uh, store bought so right here she has some beautiful bows already ready to go for you guys and with a little heart in the center beautiful pristine lovely that paper is super thick again use your best quality items guys that's what I ask always for the swaps um, just beautiful rosettes look she has a couple of them there really really cute with a little center like glittered center and then the little heart just lovely some wax seals Oh my gosh, so cute. The little lock and all that cuteness in there. And then she accented some with like the gold marker kind of thing. Look at these deluxe tassels, my goodness. So she has her beautiful tassels there, cut from like little heart paper, and then it uh, has its own little like dangle with it. <laughs> so it's like the love, the enamel charms. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. Beautiful with the bead uh, ends. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Delphina, thank you. Some beautiful lace here, lace trim, a nice thick one. It's kind of like an off-white, really, really pretty. Here we have some um, ribbon with like these little guys. <laughs> Let me see how cute the little uh, animals or whatever it is. Um, oh, like a sloth, huh? Super cute. And then we have some uh, pink and white and red like rhinestones. And here we have some flowers, the mulberry flowers in pink and in red. Over here we have... Uh, rhinestone hearts that are like clear pink uh, hot pink things like that and then those little puff stickers how cute and she put it in there with a little bit of table scatter I love these uh, Hobby Lobby always has a lot of these pretty much everything I hear I see is Hobby Lobby <laughs> so thank you so much Delphina oh the this is gorgeous very delicate uh, veneer hearts or wood veneer hearts Super pretty and a nice generous amount. And then here she has like those um, stickers, those doubled up stickers. Those are so cool because they're like double um, sided. <laughs> I guess is the word I'm looking for. Pink, red hearts. Some are smaller, some are larger. Um, these uh, pink and red um, sequins that came like this. So that's why I'm not, you know, it came that way. So there it is. <laughs> really large size. Those are cool. And then here she has um, some of those little cute like donut stickers that you can find in the Valentine aisle at Hobby Lobby that are adorable. Look at the little heart. So cute. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for listening to me. Um, just kind of letting you guys know where I'm coming from and kind of why I'm just like, okay, go, moving forward if I do them, I'm just, uh, I guess, not going to feel and bad. And I think if you join a swap, you're going to be ready to um, either receive yours back unswapped if you didn't follow the guidelines or to get your beautiful swap, all right? And they're all gorgeous. Like, whenever I was swapping out rule breakers, they're beautiful. It's just, I, mean, I can't keep showing the things that are breaking rules because then people think, oh, I'll do that next time. I'll do that next time, you know? And it's like, and all the swaps are different. I think what happens is people people get the swap rules from this one mixed up with this one and they kind of put them together it's like no 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 <laughs> you got to pay attention to each swap as it is on its own you know uh, the rules for that particular swap and again you know they're a lot of fun and everyone is really really kind I know whenever I approach someone about you know rule breaking like I said a lot of times they're apologetic sometimes they're a little stern with me <laughs> you know maybe, maybe kind of trying to I, I don't know. And then sometimes people tell me they're never going to watch my channel again. And that's fine. I mean, what are you going to do? I don't know what to tell you. But um, I'm sorry. And I think I'm super respectful as far as all that stuff is concerned. So, you know, that's all I can do is just uh, move forward and have fun, guys. I mean, that's the whole point of the swaps. But again, if they get to be too serious and people are just getting upset, I'd rather not deal with that, you know? So we'll do what we can all right guys thank you so much um people who saw their swaps here i will be swapping you out keep an eye out later for your postage because that's what i do guys i'm like as soon as i'm done with the videos they're getting swapped like i would love to i love to run a timely manner swap so uh i will take care of that in just a minute all right guys thank you so much i, I super appreciate all your time and effort and everything you guys do so thank you bye now